this is Catherine with Less is Best, where having less and spending less helps us live our very best lives. And today we are going to be decluttering the house, getting ready for 2022. I'm just going to go around today and do little decluttering projects. Each project takes under 10 minutes. So if you need some decluttering motivation, you came to the right place. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. The first thing I did was head over to the pantry and check the expiration dates. These expired a few months ago. I literally don't understand how this always happens to me. Like, how do I have this many things that have expired? Oh well, they are all thrown away now, and now the pantry is fresh, well as fresh as a pantry can be, but nothing is expired, ready to go for the new year. The next space to declutter is my Tupperware cabinet. Tupperware is kind of the death of me, but that's a whole nother episode, but I have found it helpful to keep the bottoms with the tops. So I just quickly went through, I pulled out any that I couldn't find a match for, but now my Tupperware cabinet is ready to go for 2022. Next, I headed outside and took my car to the car wash and started cleaning it out. There are a few things in life that make me as happy as a clean car. I have no idea why, I cannot explain it. Something about vacuuming it, getting a car wash, I don't know. I just feel like I have my life together when this is all said and done. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. a pet the start of the new year is a really good time to just go through their things and declutter their items we have this bin on top of our dryer where we just keep treats and her dog bandanas just random things so i went through and organized that Then I went around the house and just collected all of the toys and bones that are cluttering up our floor. I realized that she had some duplicates of things and some bones that had seen better days, so I ended up tossing a few. And then I also took a couple and just put them in the bin downstairs. I will give them to her again in a few months. She'll never know. Books are another great thing to declutter for 2022. I just quickly looked at all of the books and I realized that I had some duplicates, so I am going to be adding these to the donation pile. Speaking of donation pile, I find it really helpful when decluttering your clothes to just pick one area to declutter. And this way I don't get so overwhelmed with trying to declutter my entire wardrobe but I still feel successful. So anything I am keeping will stay right in the drawer and anything I am not wearing anymore is going to be added to the donation pile. And just like that, we are decluttered, fresh, ready for 2022. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you next time. Bye.